Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into circles. Let's get started. First of all, let us see what are the axes of symmetry of a circle. I hope you remember what is an axis of symmetry. Yet, I'll recall the knowledge. It is a line dividing any plane figure into two equal and coinciding halves. So, a circle has many axes of symmetry like this. And then we are going to look into the parts of a circle. When you take a circle, this boundary of the circle is called the circumference, whereas the midpoint of the circle is called the center and the line joining the midpoint and any point of the circumference is called the radius and then the line joining any two points on the circumference through the center is called the diameter. These things you have learnt in the smaller grades. In this grade, we are going to pay our attention to chords of a circle. What is a chord? These lines are called chords. The speciality of these lines is that the line joining any two points on the circumference of the circle is called a chord. And you have to remember the longest chord of any circle is its diameter. Then, if you take a chord, a chord divides a circle into two arcs. The larger arc is called the major arc, whereas the smaller one is called the minor arc. Similarly, we have segments in circles. What are these segments? A part of a circle bounded by a chord and an arc is called a segment of a circle. Even segments can be divided into two types of segments like this. Now here you see there is a chord dividing the circle into two segments. The darker segment is large and it is bounded by the chord and the major arc. So it is called the major segment whereas the smaller segment or the smaller part is called the minor segment. And the next part we are going to look into is sectors of a circle. What are these sectors? A part of a circle bounded by two radii and an arc is called a sector of a circle. Now look into this diagram. Here you can see there are two radii drawn in the diagram and this two radii divides the circle into two parts. The larger part here as well is called the major sector, whereas the smaller region is called the minor sector. Hope I made myself clear regarding circles, segments, sectors and so on. See you with another Smart Math clip. Until then, goodbye.